Hello, I'm Zarnus, and let's play Planet Zoo. Today we are going to start a new franchise mode project, and uh, so, so I'm going to show you how to get a good start in a franchise mode. Let's go ahead and click on franchise, and then we are going to just give it a quick name here. And I'm going to call mine Zardus Inc. Very creative. And I'm going to go ahead. Uh, yep, we get a point for logging in today. We get 100 conservation points, which will be helpful. I'm going to do a new zone or a new zoo in a temperate because I find temperate to be the easiest start. And it might just be because I'm familiar with that. But we're going to go to North America. And then for difficulty, we're going to do medium and we will go ahead with a flat zoo or a flat terrain here. And this first one we are going to call Cedar Creek. We're going to create that. That costs 100 conservation points to create a zoo in franchise mode. And yeah, let's skip ahead here. So we've gotten in here and the very first thing I did was I hit the letter P for pause or you can come down to the bottom right and toggle pause there so that you don't have any running costs going on while you are building your zoo. Now, if you're a complete beginner, you don't know how this works, but you have this whole area for your zoo. And we are going to start in a very small space. And the reason for that is if you come down here to the heat maps on the bottom left and then go to power you can see this blue space and we already have power electricity in that blue space if we go outside that and we need to do anything with electricity then we will have to buy and uh, maintain a power generator so for finance purposes it made sense to keep things inside here and that's what we're going to do first thing I want to do is come in and I'm going to build a path and what I want to do is bring this out just a little bit we you saw that I clicked on paths here and then I picked the asphalt light path which is the one that matches what is already there then I hit align to grid and I clicked this grid and then we're just going to bring this down here and we're going to do a very simple start that will be effective for like getting any zoo off the ground and when you have your first zoo in franchise mode what you want to do is have that be like kind of like a cash cow you want to be generating a lot of cash right away and a lot of conservation points so that you can fund a more uh, substantial project later but then the next thing we need to do is get staff facilities and we're going to come in here to facilities down at the bottom and then go over to staff and I want to do we'll start with animal trade center and I want to just add them right to this building so we're going to click on that so now you can see that we are clicking or we are adding inside that group I'm going to bring this out to about here actually let's start with a bigger one quarantine would be good yeah so we're connected to that but I wanted quarantine so that we can make sure that we're far enough away from the property line and we'll just bring these over a tiny bit like this and at this stage you just want a very basic thing we're not going to decorate this at all we don't want keeper hut yet we got quarantine which is where you can put animals to make sure they are not sick then we got an animal trade center we're going to skip the keeper hut in this particular building and then we'll get a research center a staff room veterinary surgery and a workshop and then i'll right click to make sure that we are out of that and then we'll just double check yep we're all in the power there so that is good those are all the basic things that we're going to need and we will get uh keeper huts but we'll get those closer to where we want to go. Now, the next thing I want is I want a path coming down this way. So I'm going to click there. I'm still aligned to this grid so that things will be straight. And once we get down here, if I put this here, then guests will walk down there. And guests don't want to be near your uh, staff facilities. So instead, I'm going to do a staff path here. 
So that kind of blocks it off. Only staff can get past that now. And only staff will come down here. Then I'm going to build this all the way down here. And I'm going past a tiny bit just so that I can come back here and deselect a grid. And I can click here. So all of these buildings are here, but they don't actually have a path to them. You have to connect it like this. You can see the the path is changing a little bit. Like the way it looks here is opening or like creating a new opening in the path. But once you see the line, the curb go all the way into the building like that, you've connected to the building. Okay, so those are all connected now. And the next thing I want to do is I want to start designing where we're going to have some of our uh, habitats. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two squares and then I'll go four here. One, two, three, four. And then here we are going to come out like this. One, uh, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to build the pattern here. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. But uh, just a moment and you will see what I mean. Okay, so now we have our basic path layout. You can see that we've come down here and we have space for a habitat here, a habitat here, a habitat here, and one here. So we can fit four in here and those should all be within our existing electricity. So I'm happy with that. And now we're going to move on to hiring our first staff. I want to get the staff in before I forget. So we went to zoo here, then we went to staff, and we're going to hire pretty much one of everything, but we not quite everything because we don't need security yet. And we won't buy, we, we won't hire any additional vendors yet either. We'll get a veterinarian. And we don't need an educator just yet either. So just these four, we've got the caretaker, keeper, mechanic, and vet. And they can just kind of wander around. We'll let them hover until we unpause the game. And now we need to pick out what animal we are going to do in our first habitat. So to get an animal, what you want to do is go to animal trading and that will bring you to the animal market. And then you have different filters that you can do. And I've actually already done some filters here. I have set my appeal to 3,500 and I sorted by price. So what I've come to the conclusion of is we want to do Arctic Fox. And here's why we have a high appeal which will get a lot of people to come to the zoo and be really excited. They'll want to see the fox and then they'll be more likely to donate money to the zoo. And so the Arctic fox is going to be our literal cash cow here because it is going to generate a lot of money. I want the first animal to be a cash cow so that we can get a lot of income generated for the zoo and can fund further uh, projects here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and going to the Zoopedia, we can see what we need and we can just confirm here. The other thing that's nice is it needs some space, but it doesn't need a lot of other stuff in the exhibit. It doesn't need any climbing, any water or deep water, and it has a pretty wide temperature range and it doesn't require a very fancy fence. So Already looking at this, a lot of the things that are good about this are very interesting. Now, one thing is that we have to pay attention to the relation with humans. This is shy. These animals are shy. So we're going to want to make sure that they have somewhere that they can hide. But in the meantime, we've already decided what we're going to get. So now we want to make sure that they have good traits. And we want a female that has good fertility here. Although none of these have good immunity, which is a little bit bad. And I suppose fertility isn't too big of a concern yet. None of them are great in a lot of the things here, but let's go ahead and get this one. Uh, the other thing is that we can, we have to pay attention here to group size. We get up to six males and up to six females. So they get along rather well. So we definitely need one female here. 
Let's go ahead and adopt that. And then we need at least one male. So let's get one of each. Uh, comparing these two, they both have poor immunity. One has better fertility than the other. So let's go ahead and adopt this one. So now we want to go into here, animal storage. These two are in the trade center, which means that we are, they, they could go to any franchise zoo that we have, but we're going to send these to the zoo. And I like to put them immediately in quarantine. That is not connecting apparently. So we are going to figure that out just a moment. Okay, well, for some reason, it would not connect to the path at all on that side. So I've moved it over here. So it should definitely be connected here and we can send to zoo. And, oh, it's still, why is it? Uh, maybe we have to unpause. No, see, it won't go in there. I don't understand why that is happening. Okay, well, now it's working. I'm not quite sure what I did, but they are going to be delivered to quarantine. Now we need to build them a habitat, and we are going to put it right here. So I built these things here so that the guests can have a designated viewing spot. But we're going to go to barriers, although we are going to first check our Zoopedia again. We want to confirm we need grade two, and it needs to be over 4.125 feet. So we want a barrier. We're going to go ahead with wood because that is grade three. And we're going to bring it down here and we are not going to do anything fancy with, with snapping or anything like that. We're just going to pretty much build as straight as we can. I mean, we could come in here and do angle snap at this point now, I suppose. And then just bring it back this way. And I think we want to go all the way here. Then over on this side, what we're going to do is we want to just move this over a tiny bit and we should be able to go straight this way. Beautiful. And then we want to bring this back a tiny bit too. Now turn off angle snap. We can go right in there. So now the problem is that Doing this, we just eliminated the ability to build anything there. So we're going to have it angle there so that we can get a shop in here. But now we have all of this in place. We are ready to go back and add our uh, keeper hut now. So I want to go ahead and add to this group and we'll put it right here. And now we can get our gate here. And we'll put that right there. So now we have a habitat for these guys. We can unpause. And the other thing we want to do is right now the guests can't see them at all. So we want to go to wood logs, our barrier and switch to glass. And we're going to grab this and then highlight this one to get those three sections and turn them into glass. Same thing here. Okay, and now the next thing I want to do is we're going to go back to the Zoopedia and we're going to say we have two adults in here. We need at least 232 square meters of space and we can come here. We've got 700, so we're good. Now, as soon as those animals are ready, we will get them in there. But one thing we want to make sure we do right away is we want to get some education. I'm searching for education here. Going to do the habitat education stand. We'll put that, we'll get one here. But I want to lower it down. I should have moved this a moment ago. That's not what I wanted. Let's undo and put this in again. So when I'm building, I'm holding Z to rotate. And then I'm going to hold shift to get it down like that. And then build it and then I'm going to click on the whole building here and do control D to duplicate it and then we'll get one over here and we'll get them here and over here as well 
And we can't set it up yet because we don't have any animal in there. But then we can also come in here and we want donation bins. We're going to put those right in between these windows. So guests will be standing here looking at the foxes and then they will want to do stuff. Now the next thing we want to do is come into habitat and go to filter and we want to filter by species. And this is, what are we doing? The Arctic Fox. So we want Arctic Fox here. Okay. And these are the things that we will want to have, but we will want to be doing some terrain work. And I think what I'll do is we'll come in here, terrain, going to do soil. And what I like to do is I like to build some natural things. So we want to make sure that they have somewhere that they can hide. So we're going to add this here. And we're going to create a little den. So they've got that. They can. And yeah, that'll block the view a little bit for them. But it will give them because these foxes are very shy. We want to make sure that they have somewhere that they can go. We'll bring that down a little bit and then we can come back to nature. And we want to make sure that we're in the right biome when we're doing nature. So we want to go over here and we want tundra or taiga. Let's go with taiga. We're going to switch to taiga. And then I want some rocks here. And I want a simple cladding on top of this, which is pretty much a flat rock. I'm going to put that right into there. And this is going to be a very simple. There we go. So that should give them some space. And then what we'll do is we'll rotate this to make it into a pillar. And then we can move this over and just make it look like there's a natural thing holding this up that doesn't go all the way down. So we'll get one and then control X to duplicate it and to put another one in there. Yeah, so now it looks like there's something holding these rocks up. And then we're going to select both of these and duplicate them both together. And then we can get just like a different rock to add a little bit of a more natural feel to this. Bring this over like that. Okay, and then that's all the rock I want to buy. But we can come down here and we should be able to get some bedding down in here. Very good. And we'll just have to make sure that it is traversable to get down there in there. But that should be far enough down that they should be able to hide in there. So now they should, I think, probably be done here. Yep, you can see quarantine complete. We're going to select them and we're going to move them into our habitat. Alright, they have been delivered. The first thing we're going to do is set our education boards before we forget. And get all of them set to Arctic Fops so that anybody over here can get educated by the Arctic Fops. Now, the next thing we're going to do is click on the animal. And we're going to go to heat maps and we want to check their habitat. First of all, we want to check traversable area. They can get up all of that. And we want to check if there are any red things. Those are escape points and they cannot escape from this habitat. So that is what we needed. And now we'll come in and we want to, well, first of all, let's get this terrain. They have the hard shelter they need. They have some of the terrain they need. We want to do a little bit of terrain painting. We're going to come in here. We could put water in, but the problem with doing water is then we will need a water treatment thing. 
So instead, we're just going to come down here to painting and we are going to get less long grass. We want some short grass in here instead. And they want more rock, which is great because then we can blend our hill in here. So now it looks like this is all together. And we'll get a little bit down in here too. We still have too much long grass, so we're going to go to light soil now. Get that out over here. And we'll kind of mix a little bit in. And look at how many people are here all of a sudden. They should immediately start donating money. Yeah, this is very good. We don't want like any long grass in their habitat. And somewhere there's still long grass. So let's just switch. All of this is soil now. And they are very happy with that. Now we can come in and we'll get some trees in. We want taiga and then we want plants. Yeah, perfect. So we want any of these pretty much. And I'm going to do a backdrop of trees along here. which also serves to hide some of those staff facilities there. And in fact, we get a couple trees over here just to be a very simple way of hiding that. So now we've got a lot of coverage there. We want to cut back a little bit. We'll get a few flowers in. And then we will get... This is a very tall tree. I don't want a tall tree. That is a Christmas tree. Okay, so now we've got some good coverage in there. We've got some good stuff. And now the most important thing we need is food. So we're going to come into Habitat and go to... We already have a bed, so we want food and shelter. Or food, food and water. We get a small tray that here and then we'll put a water pipe which will provide them with water put that over here and that should be all that we need at this point we don't have any enrichment so you can see they they want enrichment so what we're going to do is we're going to go to zoo and then we'll go to research vet research and we want to put a vet click and drag right over here to arctic fox and she will begin researching what they could have for enrichment social you can see they need to get away stress will be if they are if they feel that they're being watched too much then that will go up now the next thing we need to do let's check this see how our income is can see how many donations are coming in already which is great and it's bringing a lot of people in they are generating money for us but they are going to complain about um, lack of food or lack of uh, fun habitat so right now we don't have a ton of money so the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to make sure that the guests have everything they need so we'll come in here and we want to have a drink stall and we'll go ahead and just buy the decorated one. Planet Zoo themed drink stall here. We're going to fit it inside this space. And we'll get it as far back as we can. No terrain modification failed. So when you get that, you just kind of have to move away from your barrier as much as you can. And there we go. We got that there. And then let's get a food stall on the other side. That right here and then we can get a couple other things we don't quite need information yet or merchandise but we do need a toilet 
This is a bigger building. So what we'll do is, can we fit this in here? Can we fit that onto the same building, I wonder? And the answer seems to be no, we can't get it on there. So we're going to put the toilet here. And that's gonna have to move our tree here. That back there. Yeah, so that is adding just a little bit over there. So they have a toilet, they have other stuff. We need an ATM as well so that they will hopefully stay a little bit. So we'll tuck an ATM right over here. Okay, so now we should have everything that they need to be able to stay. And the next thing will be to get other stuff. We have zoo uh, vet research complete. Very good. She can continue. We might have unlocked something there. Yep, we have a sprinkler. Put that over there. They can have a little bit of fun now. So enrichment, they have a tiny bit of toy enrichment. She's good. They are happy there, so... I'm happy as well. That means that they probably will reproduce. But let's start thinking about our second habitat. Okay, so for the second one, what we want to do is we want to have a cash cow in terms of the conservation credits. And that's going to be a giant tortoise. So the reason I want that is if you go to Zoopedia, you can see they are vulnerable. And that means that we will get conservation points by releasing them into the wild. We should get a pretty good number. And the natural habitat is very simple. They're promiscuous and they guests can enter the habitat. And we don't want to have too many in a group, one male and up to three females. So we are going to go back to the market and we are going to get all of these. They have pretty good fertility as well, especially this one here. But I want to get all of them. We're going to adopt them. And then the plan will be that any any animal that they or any offspring they have will immediately go to uh, be released. Okay, so they're all being relocated to the quarantine. We can go ahead and build their habitat. Now, another couple, another thing about that is that guests can enter the habitat, which is good to know. We can put a path through there. Uh, they do. They will need a heater but they only need a very small wooden barrier. Let's go ahead and get that barrier in place. So we'll go ahead with the wood logs. But again, that only needed to be like one foot tall. So we can get this down to one meter. And we'll just double check that in a moment here. Zoopedia, again, 1.65. So one meter should be plenty here, which will allow any guests to be able to see over that. And how far did I go here? I went like all the way to this here. Snapping on here. And I think we want to go one more here. There we are. So now we've got that in place. We're gonna check this too real quick. Challenges, we have gotten a thousand uh, profits, so we get a bonus of some more money. Or no, we had, yeah, whatever. We got a bonus for that. Staff alert, we have no security guard, yes. We know that vet research complete. Let's go ahead and click that and come back to our Arctic Fox and get them another toy. There we go, okay, so now we want to get some of the stuff that we need for the fobs. And one thing we want to do is we want to see, or not the fobs, the, the tortoise. I want to get a guest gate in here. So I'm actually going to put a guest gate right here. Then we'll get another one over here. And then we want to bring a path through the inside there. Just because that will add to the appeal a little bit and make all of this better. And then we want to make sure that we have a, a staff path over here. And we want to align to the grid this time. We'll get that in and then we can get a gate here, wooden habitat gate, right there. 
And we should be okay with just the one keeper, but at some point we might want to check to make sure they're not being overloaded. So at this point, we should have our quarantine complete. Yes. We can move them all over here. And in the meantime, we are going to duplicate our habitat education stand again. Control D. And we'll get that in here. We want a lot of these, and you can see it was sent to the fonts because we duplicated it, but we will change that in a moment. You want to make sure that your guests are very educated, because then, shall I put this on this side? Okay, now we need to get all of those changed. And the next thing we want is to get donation bins in place really quick. And then we can work on getting the things that our tortoises need. Put these in here, and then we're just going to add add one near each of these. There's plenty of ways that they can donate. Now, the tortoises, what do they need? First of all, they need hard shelter. So let's come down here. We are going to switch this to the tortoise. And we want to go to beds and shelter. I think for them, we will just do a basic wooden shelter. They don't need anything fancy because they don't care about being near humans. So get them that. That gave them a little bit of shelter, but we need a little bit more. So let's get a couple more of these. Get one more over here, like maybe a larger one. We'll put this one over like that. So now they have the hard shelter they need. We need to get their terrain a little bit better. So we'll come in here. They want more sand. Get that back over here. Just get a mix of that to kind of blend it together. And get rid of some of the grass. But actually, that is pretty much what they want. Then we want to get a little bit of coverage here. They want tropical here. So we're going to switch that, move out Taiga and North America. And we can get some plants in here. Kind of put these around things to blend them in a little bit more. And then we'll get some nice tree in here. Coconut palms are good. The strangler fig is probably a little bit too big for this. Although it might work over here. Nice in the corner there. And again, we just kind of want to make it look like it's not just a really dull exhibit. This is more for us at this point than for anybody else. Actually, that is probably good there. So now they should be pretty happy. Uh, we do need to get food. Let's come back and get some food. And we, like I said, we will need a heater as well. We want a medium food trough. We can put this over by the door so that the keepers don't have to go very far. And then we want to make sure that they have a water pipe as well. But we do want to have maybe have the water pipe be over here so that the tortoises are spending a lot of time in that space. And then we want to come back as well and we'll get some bedding in into this, into the shelters here. There we go. So they've got bedding there. They have pretty much everything they need then. But we will want to research some enrichment because they don't have any toys here either. And we can see, will they play with the toys that we, they will play with the sprinkler. So let's go ahead and give them one there. Guests may get wet, but that is okay. So now we should have Donations should be doing very well now. 
ongoing expenses, we need to pay attention to that. But last year we had profit, this year we are having profit as well. So that is good. Now we do have littering. So one thing we need to do now that we have that other thing, we want to come in and we want to make sure that we have trash cans. Those will be on here, bins. The caretaker is going to be rather busy now. One thing about this game, and it's common in any similar game, like a roller coaster tycoon and stuff like that, guests are very messy. Oh, we got another challenge. Claim the rewards for that, claim the rewards for that, very good. And now we can raise prices too. We've got this. They think that ticket prices are too low, so we are going to raise this up. We'll double it. Sips for each. And we'll see if they still think that. And then vet research complete. Let's click on that and get that. Okay. The Arctic fonts. We might have another thing here. Let's go back to Arctic fonts. Now we're starting to get some food enrichment. Let's go ahead and get a bamboo feeder here. Put that up here, I think. Uh, yeah, look at that. The You want to make sure that you're putting feeders and things where... Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll switch this around. We're going to put this here. And we're going to move this up here. So it gives them a reason to be up there. But we've got a little bit of food enrichment now. I want to click on one of these guys and see how they're doing. Enrichment is very good. Beautiful. Last meal quality was only so-so, but that's okay. And that should be where we... I feel pretty good about the start that we've gotten. And we'll get more... We have space for two more... Habitats in there. Guests are happy, and I am as well. I hope you have enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you next time. Take care.